Okay. Taking my parents to Africa. This could be a huge mistake. My parents have sacrificed so much, they allowed me to get a pet emu at the age of 15. They let me build the alligator house in their backyard. 12 years old, they let me rescue my first alligator. It's time I take my parents to one of my favorite places in the world, which is Africa. There are serious problems. My parents have never been out of the country for that long of time. Is it dangerous? Are we gonna be safe? Make sure to watch the full video to see if my parents make it out of Africa alive. Okay, Hey guys, I need to wrap stuff up because I need to catch a flight to Africa. Oh gosh. <laughs> Might have to adjust that when we get out. Well, yeah. Please, I can't put my head off. Oh my gosh. Hey, that's your son. <laughs> Where's dad? Did you see my costume and run away? Dad, are you proud of me? Oh yes. <laughs> Adorable. I look adorable. Would you tell my wife that? Because she's mortified. I, I'm sure I would be mortified too if he was blind. We took an overnight flight from Atlanta. We slept and woke up and we were in Cape Town. Touchdown in Africa! The airport was nice and we pre-arranged a car service to come get us and take us to our hotel 20 minutes away. Wow. The Marriott had clean rooms, it felt safe, and there was a shopping center below. So the real question is, did mom and dad get the better room? How is your room? Oh my gosh. How's your room? Oh, look at that. Better. You guys. I'm gonna go run while you enjoy the bar. <laughs> One of the best cures for jet lag is to exercise. What a cool run. I'm getting a strong scent of cat, like caracal or leopard. Having a restaurant in the hotel was a major plus. The coffee in Africa is strong, but a must. On our way to Hood Street. Am I saying that right, sir? What are you saying, sir? <laughs> Off to the bush. The flight from Cape Town to the Greater Kruger National Park is only two and a half hours. Do you see any elephants down there? <laughs> Mom and dad safely made it and we were greeted by an old Yay! friend. Reply! We're so happy to see you, we Reply! Get to spend a week together. Yeah. What are you getting a photo of? I'm getting photos. I didn't know he knew how to use his phone. Wrong vehicle. Dad. Wrong side. Oh. Never seen dad take photos in my life. We have a good chance yeah. to see lots of animals. Dad just saw an ostrich? Oh my gosh, a male ostrich. Yeah. I can live here and smooth out the roads. What do you see, dad? Impala? Impalas. Impala? Ten swallow. Welcome to the bush. It is so nice to be back. Hello! Thank you so Thanks much. Oh, Alistair, give me a hug. Whoa. <laughs> the has got your name on it. Home sweet home. We're back. Yes. Safari time. Rude to carry this with me or should I? Dad, yes, it's not yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Come on, we're gonna miss it, babe. Lock it good, Dad, to make sure the baboons don't get in there. Mom, what are you most excited to see? I think I want to do the leopard on the leopard uh, kill. So we're going to head south. It's quite a big area. I want to try and get to a female leopard. She's got a kill. Can I run and use the restroom real quick? It's inside the lodge. Oh, okay. Dad. Oh, no. So sorry, Al. That'd be sorry. Oops. You're not supposed to run. She's riding the waves. Riding the waves. Spotted hyena. Remember the collective noun for a group of wilderness. Hold on. You're gonna fail. Hold on, hold on. It's not a herd, that would be way too easy. That's too boring. Implausibility. Implausibility? How would I have known that, Al? <laughs> what is their scientific name? Sure. I'm not sure their scientific name. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> we only allow three vehicles at a site, so we gotta wait for two guys to go in and then we can then we can go. The leopard had a kill in the tree, but after eating decided to come down and relax. Her name is Cara. Cara is about five years old. So this is always one of the animals that you never expect to see on safari. It's a very secretive animal. So it's a privilege to be able to, to find and see a leopard, especially on your first drive. I think she's watching that girl. The leopard was watching the child in the front seat. Mom, tell us your favorite leopard fact. Think you would see a leopard here or? Not so soon, no. Do the lights? Mm. That's not very far. Is the line roaring again? 
the lion would try and kill the leopard. You can see she's a bit more aware now that animal's a little bit closer. Bye, Cara. Okay, you have to see me again, my wife. Dad? Okay. I'm Sophie, two years old. Mom and Dad's first lion sighting right on the road. The lions are used to safari vehicles and are completely comfortable around them. <laughs> the two young males from the Narupa. Do they have names, Al? Not yet. It's a much lower contact. Pride went in here, I think. Just looking for them calling. One of the best times to see lions is at night. It's when they wake up to start hunting. And Chile. And we're all three males here. Lions everywhere. Our tracker reply stays still, although he assures us he's not in any danger. That's my baby. Oh, wow. Great first night safari. You can't even put that into words. It just makes you want to cry. Starting safari in a giraffe costume today. It's like a tradition when we go to Tent Swallow. Last year I was a lion. This year I'm going to be a giraffe. Good morning, Africa. The giraffe costume kept me warm on the morning game drive, and Al joined me in the lion costume. Mom and dad are doing good. They're getting ready for a new IG photo with some hippos and a crocodile. Give her a kiss. They're missing the croc. It is like literally moving. Look at the croc, guys. Come on, look. Oh, there he is. You can jump out and take a picture <laughs> if you want. Wow. They weren't even this excited for leopards, Al. I'll always think of you, Mom, every time I see a dung beetle. Look at this. Breakfast. Thank you. There were so many animals you could find around the lodge. Oh my gosh! Little tree frog! Getting into spider. Oh! Is it really? No. Corbin, don't. <gasps> Elephant. I love the break between game drives. It's important to work out while you're on safari. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Drinking a beer? <laughs> stretch out sure if someone wants to get training advice how can they reach you uh look at that beautiful african spotted bush snake a female bush buck right outside our room we just heard there's elephants at the front tent swallow has water they turn on for the ellies and it attracts other animals like this juvenile water monitor keep your eyes peeled animals are everywhere so the two leopard cubs have been seen yeah it looks like that they're going this direction. They're so tiny. Look at them. They're in here somewhere, so we're just waiting. Leopards have some of the best camouflage. No wonder they're always hard to spot. Pun intended. Don't. <laughs> so close to camp. They don't even know. How cool. We literally had bush drinks with hyenas. If dad decided to walk home from where we just were, do you think he would get eaten? That might be a good chance. There's a lot of buffalo around here, so they wouldn't eat him. But, you know, if you bumped into a, a male buffalo or an elephant or something at night, you never know. Can you apologize in advance, Mom? No, it's a spider. Look at it. Look from there. It's a trench. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. That's huge. How's the spring buck? Hey, spring buck is dynamite. What does it taste like for anyone who's never uh, eaten a little baby cute more. antelope? I think it's very tender. We were determined to find those leopard cubs again. These guys just eat all day. Similar to what we do at camp. Exactly. <laughs> We'd eat all day. Oh. This baby is vulnerable and kept close to mom. It's in the tree. All day. A leopard cub would be an easy meal for this hyena. The cub's best chance of survival is to stay in that tree. The elephant's here. She's not very happy right now. But the elephants will probably chase away the hyena. I saw it come out the tree. The leopard jumped out the tree. Yeah. And then they saw and smelled the leopard. My heart started. Alistair, are we some of your favorite clients? Top five. Who's number one? <laughs> Paris Hilton. Yeah, she has a way better personality than us for sure. The Greater Kruger is one of the best places in Africa to see elephants. Al, I'm having the best time of my life. And this God's honest truth. Uh, thanks, Jeff. Uh, yeah, it's amazing to be out in the bush now. He's crying a little bit. Uh, why do you always say I'm crying? I'm not crying. Oh, come on, look at him. He's so cute. Look. I'm literally having breakfast, and an elephant just comes over. The elephants are so smart, they know where to get water. 
The best part is that the lodge has an elephant hide where you can see them up close and personal. And what is your name for the YouTube channel? Levi. What do you hope to see today? Lions. You think we'll see lions? Mm-hmm. Because we didn't see lions yesterday. I think we're going to look for lions. Hey, Levi, maybe Levi's going to bring us luck. It's really important to eat a healthy diet while on safari. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the lighting is so good. Southern white rhinos. There are fewer than 20,000 left in Africa. A rhino horn on the illegal market is worth about $400,000. Which one has been dehorned? This one's been dehorned. The, the big one? The big one. Why didn't the other one get dehorned? I don't know. Maybe they, these guys were in another place when they were dehorned. In South Africa, they dehorn their rhinos, so poachers have no value in killing them. This pride is the Mbali pride with the Kruger male. You're not worried with your son next to all these lions? No, as long as he stays still. Lions have scent glands on their feet to mark their territory. He's a new male that's coming from the, the east, from Kruger, and he's pushed out their male called the Mbali male. He's solitary. A lion in Kruger that's solitary doesn't last a long time because he gets pressured by other lions that are twos and threes and fours. Sharpening his claws. Probably about eight. Male lines come in sexual maturity between five and six. Three times in my guiding career have you watched rhino walk like that? Male line, female lines, all moving like that. Rhinos are tough and aggressive and are typically safe from lions. If I get a male line and a... Mom, are you okay? The pride is waking up to hunt. It may seem that Africa is full of lions, but that's not true. There are fewer than 20,000 left due to habitat loss, prey depletion, and human wildlife conflict. Going on a photo safari helps keep this place wild for lions. Can you please go on your YouTube channel? Safari is one of the last great adventures. You wake up that day and you literally don't know what you can find. Some of my favorite memories are just driving around, trying to find animals. This leopard cub is four to five months old. She's the cub of the elusive Sable Bridge female leopard. There are actually two female leopard cubs, although one is extremely shy, unlike this cub. As the leopard melted away, we got a call that a hyena got caught in a poacher's snare. We needed to help. The reserve anti-poaching team will be here. The guys are thinking that he's possibly just on the other side of the camp, but they've got a bait here. You need someone to jump on the hyena. Here we are. How are you? Robin, nice to meet nice you. To Finally, meet you. my daughter in Amsterdam, funny enough, who's a keen follower. A fan in Amsterdam. A fan in Amsterdam. Yeah. Very yeah, nice. No, worldwide. Yeah. So great to have the family out. Yeah. This is life-threatening for the hyena. It could die if we do not help this animal. Let's go and do it. Using a bait, quite necessary for any time we're doing carnival work. The bait and the smell and all of that is the best way to actually pull a hyena to that area. What's a snare? It's a wire that poachers put on animals. We need to lure the hyena in. Okay, this will just play our uh, prey in distress call. Hopefully we can get to that one. We attracted a hyena, but not the one that we wanted. Luckily, the hyena with the snare was captured a few days later. The snare was removed and the hyena was released. It was time for the famous Boma dinner. <laughs> Wild dogs? Wild dogs, yeah. We raced to get to the wild dogs. It's the rarest cod in Southern Africa. There are fewer than 6,000 wild dogs left in the wild. This is mainly due to habitat loss and human and animal conflict. The Manuleti Game Reserve is one of the best places to see the endangered African wild dog. Pretend you're a cheetah. Oh, Dad, put your shirt down. Kids channel. <laughs> This is called the Biri Lion Pride. It's all looking very thin. One of the most fantastic things about Tinswala is you have the ability to spend time with the animals. And you've already spent about an hour with these animals. In many other reserves, you don't have the time to spend with them because there's a lot of other vehicles. Here, we don't have too many vehicles. A lot of people ask me how close the animals get on safari. The answer is they get close, really close. All of these are female. 
you don't want to drive right behind the lines because sometimes you break branches and stuff. And then you give the animals ahead of the lines an idea that you hit lines and they're looking this time. Having a lion approach you in a vehicle is one of the most thrilling encounters. Why'd we go for it? Daddy, you okay? The sun was setting, so we had to leave. The next morning, we got up and found them. I think they ate something. Yeah. The plus is they got something small. They're not full, full, full. Leave in tent swallow. Just a nice little goodbye from the Ellie's. We said goodbye to I our love friends. Love you guys very, very much. Thank you. Julie's ready to get out of here. <laughs> Look at her eyes. It was time for our next adventure, which meant we had to head back to Cape Town. I don't know if this is a good idea since we've never actually um, driven on the other side of the road, but okay. So see if we survive. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my blinker? <laughs> oh my god. Why is this it is beeping? Like, I don't know. Can I get over? Ah! Pull seat over. Belt. Dad doesn't have his seatbelt on. Okay. Straight, left, keep left, left, left. Keep your eyes on the road. I can't believe I'm driving in it. Don't hit down. this car. Your destination is on the left. Oh my god, look! Tent Swallow. We arrived at Tent Swallow Boulders <laughs> in Simonstown, <laughs> an hour outside of Cape Town. This boutique villa is right on oh Boulders god. Beach, home to a breeding colony of the endangered African penguin. There they are! Oh my gosh, it's like a dream! Crazy, you have penguins out here! Walk right on down. Yeah. Is that this is paradise. Not only are we having breakfast on the ocean, we are having breakfast with African penguins. Those little dots, African penguins. Boulders had a private chef and made us some of the best meals. We decided to go into Simonstown to go to the local grocery store. It looked pretty similar to the ones we have in America, but cheaper. Oops, they even listened I to the same music. I'm not bad Mom and Dad explored the town. Dad in the jerky shop, trying every sample he can. <laughs> Look at this little gate. Look at the cute little penguin gate we had to cross over. There's one right there. Our first penguin. So this is what they do for their conservation. They have these little nest boxes for them. I then could not believe my own eyes. The closest living relative to an elephant, the rock hyrax. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they have a whole highway through here. They're so cute. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. God. That is the best. <laughs> Dinner at Boulders, mm. yay! yay. <gasps> so you're also extra. So yes! Oh my god. There's your oh, extra yeah. deep fried mozzarella. Loads of cheese, cheese, and more cheese. Shrimp. Prongs. Prongs. Wow. Oh. Yes. I woke up early in the morning to catch the sunrise and to hear the penguins. Best place in the world to have a jog. You literally have to watch out for penguins. <laughs> Hey. Don't mean to bother you, I'm just on a jog. We were on a journey to Stellenbosch, the Winelands, located an hour away. While my wife and my mom enjoyed award-winning wines, I decided to take my GoPro and go into the Koi Pond. I even had a special water tasting and tried some South African pizza. Not bad. It almost makes me want to cry. If you could, it would really help the YouTube views. On my mom's birthday, we woke up early and went down to see the penguins at Boulders Beach. These are warm weathered penguins naturally found in Africa. And you could see tent swallow boulders from the boardwalk. Hey! Boulders Beach is a protected area for the endangered African penguins. It's a place where they nest and breed. We then headed to the Atlantic side of the Cape for a very special birthday lunch. Have you been this close to the beach, Mom? What's <laughs> shaking bacon? What's shaking bacon? Hey, what's with the whiskers? Yeah. <laughs> Mom and dad ate a seven course meal. Three hours later, still eating, or I should say watching mom and dad eat. <laughs> 
We then went back to see the penguins in the late afternoon, which is a great time when most of the tourist crowds are gone. I am so happy our Africa, okay, our Africa. Just wah wah. <laughs> At this point. Happy birthday. Thank you, it's been amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Mom, will you come back to ask? Oh my gosh, I'm saving the minute I hit the ground in the United States. I want to bring Bug out here first. So no one knows who that is, so can you just... <laughs> Micah, my daughter, my favorite child. The last day, I decided to soak in every moment, which meant checking out the pool. <laughs> The water was calm, so we were able to do some excursions and like kayak with the penguins. These penguins are coming back from their afternoon fishing trip. Here we go. <laughs> this is where they filmed one of my favorite Netflix documentaries, My Octopus Teacher. We then went out to snorkel with seals. The water had low visibility and we had to watch out for jellyfish. I was on the lookout for fur seals. There one is. Can you kind of see it? Okay, there's a better shot. This is one of the Great White's favorite foods. I'd say the biggest challenge wasn't the jellyfish, but getting back in the boat. We ended in a penguin Pro suit. Tip, if you want to clear out the crown, wear a suit. So you do a penguin walk. <laughs> This is amazing, and we didn't get arrested. What a great way to end our time in Simon's Town. Until next time. Our trip to Africa has come to an end. Oh, it's just incredibly mind-blowing and awesome. Best trip ever. I'm so happy we're planning trips here in 2024. If you want to come to SA with us, AKA South Africa, check out the link. We are hosting trips in 2024 to Tent Swallow to do exactly what we did on this trip. Mom and dad were our guinea pigs and we are now ready to host groups. What are you doing? Um, oh, we're I, in a restaurant. Dad got burnt I got like a tomato. One last pro tip, wear sunscreen. My dad couldn't walk for days. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, wear your sunscreen, and if you want to join us for our 2024 trip, head on over to CorbinMaxi.com for the full itinerary.